Simon Price, I'm a music journalist and I'm the author of a book about the Manic Street Preachers and I'm here to host a Q&A with Kieran Evans, the director of the Manic's documentary Culture, Alienation, Boredom and Despair. Having seen the film a lot of times, I'm looking forward to seeing if the audience laugh in the same places they always laugh, <laughs> the same times that I always laugh. Um, because it's a very touching film, very moving film, but it's also, and this is something people wouldn't necessarily associate with the Manic Street Preachers, it is incredibly funny as well. I think the Manics are a band that people have an insatiable appetite for you know, knowledge about, and uh, um, the fact that this film isn't available anywhere, it's, uh, there, there is a DVD version, but it's much shorter. Um, it's, it's almost a sort of, you know, it's an exclusive event, really. And um, I, think it's, I think it's great that BAFTA are recognising a homegrown filmmaker who's obviously uh, gone on to be very successful. And um, I think from Kieran's point of view, he likes that recognition as well, you know. Being an independent filmmaker, you need kind of any opportunity to promote yourself or get your work out there. When I was growing up, as, you know, as an art student and uh, didn't really have these sort of things, you didn't really kind of get that face-to-face -face thing with filmmakers. They were always a little bit distant. You used to read about them in magazines. They weren't, you know, they're just beyond reach, really. So I think anything that kind of puts you in front of somebody who's gone through some of the experiences that you are going through right now, you know, I kind of recognise when students come up to me and say, I can't do this, or I'm nervous about this, I totally understand what they're talking about. So I think the fact that actually being able to kind of share that experience and share that knowledge is incredibly important for people who are just trying to come through and break through and you know, make their mark, really. BAFTA approached me um, and, and Kieran about coming down here to put on a Q&A. And obviously it's, it's very prestigious, it's a, it's a great cinema and, uh, and it's in what's now become the Manics hometown, it's their HQ. So um, it definitely appealed, you know. And on a more general level, I just think it's fantastic that BAFTA Cymru even exists at a time when um, there are so many threats to government funding of the arts. So I, I think that's fantastic and I think it's great that they are using that that infrastructure to, um, you know, honour and, and to help filmmakers like Kieran.